we are done with assignments so in the previous video we understood how to create assignments and how to evaluate them today we're going to discuss how to create quizzes now you again the same old thing we go to the create tab and then we click on quiz assignment now once you do this you have the same old fields coming up a title so let's say quiz one any name then any instructions that you would like to give let's say uh, the time duration is let's say 10 minutes anything that you would like to add here now what you see over here is there is a blank quiz google form that comes up now you can create a quiz using google form and this will be really interesting so i think it would be nice to take a tour of this so what you simply have to do is you have to click on this so let's go ahead and click it now what you want to see is a blank quiz opening up so now this is the quiz you can name it anything let's say i call it quiz one you can give any descriptions here if you like. Now, this is the first question that you would like to give. In. Now, if you see here, there are a range of choices that you can use. The most frequently used are these ones. So, I'm going to pick up each and we're going to understand how you can use them. Now, if you're making a multiple choice question, this is the category that you have to choose. A multiple choice question is one which would have several choices. So now you can frame any question here. Let's say you write for the mathematics people, what is the value of pi? Of course, you can give any question here. Now, this is option one. So here you give the first option. So let's say we write 3.14, which is the right one. Here, option 2. You just have to click and it creates a new option for you. Let's say 4.56. So I'm giving some random numbers here. 9.01. 2.4. Okay. Any number of options that you would like to give here. So once this is done, this is your question which has been created. Now what you simply do is you have to click on answer key. What you have to do over here is you assign it some points. So let's say this is of one point. Again, depending on what you would like to write. And what you click on is add answer feedback. So if there is a correct answer, you can write a feedback. So let's say the value is 3.14. Here you can, let's say, add a link to that site that shows how the value is computed. So let's save. And also for an incorrect answer, the value actually is... 3.14 again you can definitely add a link here that will show you how this value has been computed i hope this is easy now let's try to add in another one so let's also select the correct value here so this is the correct value not this so this is the correct answer which needs to be clicked on here okay so this is how you could create your first question now let's create another question so let's add a question so for that you just have to click on this plus button so we understood how to create multiple choice questions now if let's say you want to edit it you can again click over here and you can make any additions that you want and then you say done if you want to make it a required question, you will have to click on required. So this becomes a mandatory question now. Now for the others, we will see in the next video.